Hello everyone, uh, I am The Masked Gamer, also known as SuperJerry27 on Twitch, and this is my first real YouTube video. Um, never done this before, I've been on lockdown for six months, so I figured I need to acquire some new skills, because who knows still what's going to happen. Uh, we're waiting on the vaccine. Uh, people still aren't wearing masks. Spoken! Uh, people just aren't being considerate. It's like, dude, times are tough. Times are weird. Why don't we just stick together? We've all we've got. But uh, I digress. I've been trying to get into the video games industry for about eight years now. Uh, kind of sucks that I figured out what I wanted to do with my life at the age of 32 instead of 18, or I would have gotten a nice fancy journalism degree. But nonetheless, uh, I'm trying to get into video game journalism. YouTube may be the only way right now. I don't know why, but hey, it's free, kind of, and I might be able to make some money off of it. Um, but we're here to talk about the PlayStation 5 release, or pre-order release, which really did not go very well. I was debating on getting one. I have the I had the money put away and everything, and I'm like, there's basically two games I want at launch: Spider-Man Miles Morales, Demon Souls. I've beaten Demon Souls on the PS3 with my buddy, and I haven't even beaten Marvel Spider-Man yet. So why am I going to drop $800 to play a game that's being released on the PS4 the same day anyway? I'm going to go with the PS4 version because it's going to look better on my shelf and it's going to be unified and I don't have a 4K TV so it's going to look the damn same to me. I'm blind anyway. Look at this crap. Fucking Coke bottles. Um, so I'm passing on that and then I'm thinking about, oh, Xbox is coming up too, right? November, or I'm sorry, September 22nd. Same thing. They have three launch games. I can't remember one of them. Yakuza, uh, Like a Dragon, and Gears Tactics are the only two that I can remember. There's a third that I obviously don't give a shit about. And I'm like, well, I haven't beaten Yakuza 4, 5, or 6, or Kwame 2, so I don't really need to buy Yakuza 7 right now, and I am horrible at tactics-types games. I've tried my hand at Fire Emblem, and I'm just not good at it. I try though. You tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson is never try. <laughs> uh, I own most of them just because I have to have a set. I'm weird like that. But I mean, this fiasco that uh, on Twitter they tweeted, hey, hey, guess what, guys? It's, uh, we'll let you know when you get a pre order. And five minutes later, I'm just watching people freak out on Twitter as Walmart sells out, Best Buy sells out, GameStop sells out, and Target sells out. All of them sell out because Walmart started the dominoes, tick, 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 ticking down. And it sucks for, like, the real gamers who, who want one, genuinely want one, to, you know, to play the two games that come out on the 12th. Uh, because they're not going to get one. A bunch of, you know, scalpers have it. If you look on eBay, people are trying to sell them for... Fucking from five to a thousand dollars for a pre-order, and some of them are from GameStop. Like I have nothing against GameStop; never worked for them. I just know what I see on YouTube about them. But I would not drop six hundred dollars on a console at GameStop when they could be closed next week. Like what well, they've closed three hundred fifty stores maybe this month alone. I think I don't know the full numbers, but it's just kind of like, e yeah, I'm not going to chance it. I also don't like getting stuff mailed to me that's a console. Um, but I can go with that. I got my Switch mailed to me, and it came fine. I love it. Don't play it as much because I'm trying to stream more, and I don't have a capture card. But maybe if I can finagle my way into YouTube monetization with some of these videos, hey, you never know. But I just think that, I don't know. The next console generation is going to be sweet. Don't get me wrong. Horizon Zero Dawn 2, God of War 2, Halo Infinite, 
maybe Nintendo will squeak Scalebound in if they do come out with that uh, 4K Switch. I can see that happening. Platinum and Nintendo were pretty tight. I'm hoping anyway. I mean, that's probably a pipe dream. And then what else happened today? We had the Nintendo Direct, the what third-party one, and Capcom's just shoving the love at the Switch with Monster Hunter Stories 2 and the other Monster Hunter game that I probably won't get. I'll probably get Stories because I generally play alone. That's life. I'm, you know, 40 years old. All my friends have hit that next level of adulthood, and I'm still wearing a Yoshi t-shirt. Tele- well, not television. YouTube. Trying to make a, be, you know, be a YouTube guy. <sighs> yeah, that's life, right? But, uh, so there's a lot of news coming down. I'm curious how Microsoft is going to handle the pre-orders. They already said the date. It's the 22nd of this month. I think you can get them off Microsoft and everyone else, but at least everyone has a date. I'm sure there'll still be scalpers because capitalism, not that I am against capitalism, but sometimes it's like, come on. Like I've got my uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars coming. Finally, they ship from Best Buy. I'd rather get from Amazon. But then I read that Amazon is totally <laughs> canceling pre-orders. My two buns are Best Buy. I got two. Yep. I'm a collector. I'm not going to scalp it. It's going to go on my shelf, still sealed in a nice little wrapper, and I'm going to play one. Because I've never beaten Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, or Mario Galaxy. Um, I've gotten a good chunk in each one of them. But just something new and shiny comes out. And I'm like, ooh, they'll go for that instead. Ooh. Like right now on my Switch is Astral Chain, which I haven't played in probably over a year. But I love Platinum games. But like I said, I'm focusing on streaming. So I'm playing Resident Evil Revelations. And I really want to be Ghost of Tsushima so I can get back to Kingdom of Al- Kingdoms of Alamur re-reckoning on the PS4 because I'm kind of... I like to put different games into different systems or different types of games. Like I'll have an RPG, I'll have a shooter, I'll have a platformer all in a different system so that when I get bored with one, I'm like, hey, I can play Astral Chain now. Hey, I'm bored with this. I can play Resident Evil now. Hey, I'm bored with this. I'll play some Kings of Malvin Lure and smite some orcs and shit. But yeah, this is... You know, this is my first video. I think it's good. I'm doing a stream of consciousness thing. I'm sure I'll put some clips in there to make it funny when I'm looking at it. But uh, this is me. This is my introduction to YouTube. Uh, I've got some some videos coming up, like stuff I found in my own garage during quarantine that I didn't know I had, which I think is hilarious because I see all these people going out, you know, masked up like me in the plague plague doctor outfit. Hey, I found, you know. NFL 2K14 or whatever, you know, like, yeah, who cares? I don't care. I don't like sports games. Um, but, yeah, I mean, excited for the next generation. Not excited right now. When Resident Evil Village hits, then come. I'll probably make a video because hopefully I'll be better at this. You know, maybe I'll have gotten enough subscribers. I take the mask off. You can see my giant schnoz and my gray in my beard. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the mask thing right now. It's... I think different. I haven't seen one on YouTube yet. I think. I don't know. I only watch a certain few people on YouTube. But, um, yeah, Re- when Resident Evil 8 Village drops. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. What? I mean, I'm getting the Xbox Series X because all my Resident Evil games are on the Xbox and look pretty. All in a row. It's got to look pretty. Uh, I am excited for Horizon Zero Dawn for the PS4. I'll probably buy the PS or for the PS5. I'll probably buy the PS5 when that comes out. But like I said, I'm worried about the PS4, PS5 co-development could drag the game down. I don't know if I said that in this video or on my stream about 10 minutes ago. So either way, we saw what happened with Halo Infinite, how 343 was building them in tandem, and we got the graphics that we got. That meme... That just, hey, we should probably put the game on delay because we're getting memed to death on Twitter about that ape thing, you know, whatever that was. But when that comes out, I'm excited. I, I miss my Halo. I miss my Halo Knights. And it'll be cool to get back in the hands of Master Chief. Halo 5 wasn't a huge disappointment, but I was just like, eh, at least I'm killing shit. And it looks pretty. And it's fun. Hey, um, you yeah, know, kind of easy. Kind of, yeah, maybe, yeah. But yeah, this is the game room. This is I got a third TV behind me. I, got, I wanted Resident Evil 
Code Veronica playing and my controller shut off. And then can't see the little TV very well. It's uh, Jade Cocoon and the other one's off because obviously you see the edge of it. But yeah, this is me. Um, welcome to my, my channel. Hopefully I'll be able to pump out more content. We're going to see how good I am uh, editing this because who knows how good I'm going to be. Uh, a little nervous about that. And i got to make a thumbnail. Uh, i got to do the whole like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, I should have said that at the beginning. Oh, like and subscribe. Maybe I'll cut that in. But, yeah, if you like this video, if you want to hear some goober talking about games in a mask and Nintendo-type shirts, looking like he just woke up because he's on lockdown, you know, like, subscribe, follow. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably have a more, more cohesive videos coming. This one might not even air soon. It might be way late. But, hey, I'm starting it up. I'm going to see some cool stuff because I love retro games. Even though I'm excited for the new stuff, I love the old stuff. Because you can't get better if you forget your history. You just have to know where you came from. And that way you can figure stuff out. You can make it better. I mean, let's see. Who did that? Who who built on the... Oh, look at... I mean, everybody's... A lot of people are kind of pooping on Naughty Dog right now. But look at the Uncharted games. One is great. Two is the best. Three is amazing. And four was great. And I even like... Lost Legacy, ah, the one with Chloe and the African-American lady whose name I just cannot remember right now. But that was even fun because they brought the brother in, and the brother was awesome. But now I'm starting to ramble. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I will talk to you all soon. I stream randomly just because I really can't set a schedule because of how my life is. There's a lot going on, even though I'm locked in my house, if that makes sense. Um... No, I'm not under duress. I'm not going to blink you SOS. It's just like six months in, I still do things. When I get deliveries, I wait for them so they don't sit outside. So that either they don't blow away or they're not stolen. But I don't live in a crap area, so I don't know why I'm so stupid. But either way, I'm going to try to try to do two of these videos a week unless I run out of stuff. But I'll always be posting my Twitch streams to here. Because I'm funny there too because I'm kind of off the, hook, off the hook or off the cuff. And if people are chit-chatting with me in the chat, then I can really be funny. But uh, it takes a lot to talk to yourself. It's very difficult. But, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. And I hope you all got the PS5 pre-order if you want one. But there's nothing to play. Sorry. Just got to admit there's nothing to play yet.